you guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm going to do uh, a little book book video because i'm going to show you some of my most favorite books that i've been reading and i would really go back to them and read them again all of them uh, so i have over 200 or 250 books maybe uh, approximately 300 and they are in like hindi marathi and english and i've not read all of them but there are some books that I loved the most and I have been reading them and I've read them more than um, maybe two or three times. So um, the most important book that everybody should have is this Constitution of India because um, you, you should know all your human rights since we live in a democratic country. I think we all Indians should know what our rights are and then we should also know what we are fighting for. So this is Bharata Se Samvidhan. We all should have this. And it is drafted by none other than the most intelligent person ever on this planet. And that's um, Baba Sahib Dr. Bhimra Ramji Ambedkar. And everyone should have a copy of this. I'm sure, you know, like if you read this once, it is like an eye opener if you read it. And there are all the articles written in this, like what are your personal rights if you get stuck somewhere so you should definitely read this give this a try and i think this is a book or maybe this is like such a precious thing to have in your home so this is the first book uh, that i read and i recently uh, got this i mean like my father got this and i read it and it was outstanding you know what i mean we live in a democratic country and i think we should know what our rights are. So the second book is this Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. So this is the book and when I read it, oh my god, my mind was blown away. And this is such a mind freshener. Like if you are in a sad mood, I think you should read this because Think and Grow Rich, everybody needs to read this book. It's super. And since you all know that Napoleon Hill was born in 1883 in the wise country, Virginia, and he died in 1970 after a long successful career as a consultant to business leaders. So basically this book is like, what is the power of thinking? Like if you really think positive, the outcome will be positive. So that is all it's written in the book, like in what ways you can think to grow rich. So I think this is the book that everybody should read, and especially if you are a person who wants to do really big in life then i think you should definitely give this book a try so i'm gonna put down the book here and the books link down in the description well this is not a sponsored video by crossword or any other bookstore but these are just a few of my favorites some of my favorites so again this one the third book i mean like i should not number the books i'll just say next book next book so the next book is this own it by oprah winfrey and like literally when I read this, when I read about Oprah Winfrey, I was shocked because the way this woman faced things in her life is um, very out of your mind. You cannot think about it. And there are some good phrases and proverbs in this um, book. Also, there are a few thoughts which you can actually implicate that in your life. And this is again the most amazing book that i've read and she has wrote this book on her own it's like in her own biography or you can say that it's in her own words because she has wrote down everything that she faced in her life so everything's written in this book like how she became a tv host and how is she you know like so encouraged in her life so i think this is the book that you should read and it is one of the most successful entrepreneur of her generation and that's what forbes said about her and i think this book was on the number one list of the forbes so i think this is the book that you should definitely read okay so now if you are a fan of galaxies and universe and stars and dark holes and everything like me like i i am a huge fan of universe and everything because i wanted to become an astronaut like i wanted to like work with nasa built planes and everything but um, since i couldn't be but i read this book and it is called stephen hawking and leonard uh, 
molding now the grand design and these like book this book has answers to all your questions i mean like what is galaxy how far is galaxy uh, what are other planets are there uh, what is dark hole and everything everything is there in this book i mean like this book fascinates you so much like so freaking much and it's it's just uh, you know unbelievable because there's everything in this book and there is brief history of time black holes and baby universes and other essays uh, there is an universe in a nutshell even that like there are this parts in the book so i think you should definitely read this and stephen hawking you all know he was such a genius and he actually found out everything that we ever wanted to know so everything's in this book i think you should again give this book a try i'm going to list down the link in the description then i have this book called the magic of thinking big and again it's by david j schwartz again if you are a person who loves to think big and who loves to dream i think this is the book that you should definitely read because we all know if you think big definitely um there will be a time where the things will actually happen the way you want so you should start thinking about it right now so this book has everything and again the writer he has done a fabulous job he have wrote the book in such a way that you will keep on reading it it's like the attraction it attracts you to keep on reading so once you start reading you're just gonna drench yourself into this so again definitely you should try out so the next book is a little spiritual because um like we are a soul follower of um, lord buddha and since we follow buddhism i think uh, if you are also a person who loves to follow buddhism and who loves to uh, walk on the spiritual path i think you should definitely read this book this is um, buddha the name of the book is only buddha and it's wrote by deepak chopra and a story of enlightenment so it's buddha a story of enlightenment the name of the book is a story of enlightenment so you should definitely read this book again uh, this book has uh, the life story of buddha like the day he was born and then how his mother died and what his father did and then how he uh, grew up with his friends what did he learn why did he move to the spiritual way like everything's in this book and once you read it i'm sure you will love it you will start following the spiritual path and like there are mostly there are answers to your questions like where does people go like where do people go once they are spiritual in the spiritual track so this book is like really one of those if you're feeling low if you're feeling very depressed and frustrated i think you should read this book because it has some really good stories i'm like i can't say stories but there are few lines which are going to touch you really deep down there so i think you should definitely read this the next book has to be my favorite because it's the seven habits of highly effective people um again you know like when you meet somebody it that particular person has a few habits which you get attracted by or which you get inspired by and there are a few habits which you are like uh, very frustrated of or like why is this or that person doing such things so i think the seven habits of highly effective people are going to teach you some good habits that you need to implicate that in your life and i think uh, this is again one of the best books that you would want to read or you can gift it to somebody i'm mean, like all these books are something that you can gift it uh, and you know just make them happy and make ask them to learn something from there so again this book is one of the best i've read it twice and i really feel very nice because one thing is that even when you're reading any book if you don't understand a line or if you think that this line is really uh, relating to your life or there are few words which you can't understand the meaning of it just underline that like i have there i don't know if you guys can see i have underlined a few lines over here so that you know just in case if i read this book for the third fourth or fifth time i know why i underlined this so yeah which is why again this book is really good 
the next book is this Behenji. Now you all must be knowing who Behenji is. She is Mayavati, and um, she is a politician. And again, um, it's a political biography of Mayavati, and it's wrote by a Joy Bose. And again, this is uh, one of the finest books I have read because there is this whole story of Mayavati. Uh, Behenji. So this book is about a Dalit woman, which is Mayavati ji. Uh, you know, she has become like a politician or she wanted to become a politician and she is a, again a Dalit woman. So that's what this book says, like her journey from being nothing to being something and being known to the world. So this is the book and I think you should definitely read this. The next book I have here of this global icon and her name is Priyanka Chopra, obvious. And so this book has been written by Asim Chabra. So Asim, like it was like an interview with Asim Chabra and he noted down few points of Priyanka Chopra's life and he made like a whole book on it and I read it and I absolutely loved it. So this is the story like how Priyanka Chopra participated into Miss India, how she won Miss World and then the later on her story you know from being nothing to becoming the global icon and everybody in the world knows her so everything like you need to know about Priyanka Chopra is in this book and uh, very soon I am gonna get a copy of unfinished Priyanka Chopra's new book like the autobiography she has wrote about herself which is known as unfinished and I'm gonna read that soon like I have to order it so I'm gonna give my review on that as well but this is the book. This is one of the best books. If you don't know about Priyanka Chopra, I think you should read this book. So there's everything about her first movie, uh, how she got bullied in school or maybe in the industry. Like she has faced racism, discrimination, everything. And she's wrote everything in that. So I think you should definitely check this out. The next book is The Lai Lama. So this is the autobiography of it's a biography of the Laila man. It's wrote by Patricia Cronin Marcello. And again, this is a great book. Uh, I had this book like when I was in class 8th or 9th, I guess, or maybe before that. Um, and this is again a great book. It's the story of the Lai Lama, like how he became a monk or how he um, walked on the spiritual path and why did he choose to become that. So I think again, if you want to know about his life, I think you should definitely read this book. But again, this is one of my favorites. And again, it's the best. So the Lai Lama's real name was Lamo Dhondu. And again, um, it's a Tibetan name. Uh, mostly the story evolves around Tibet, uh, like from his birthplace to, you know, moving from Tibet. So again, if you really want to read, you can buy this book and read. The next book is The Pilgrimage and it's by Paolo Coelho. I also have The Alchemist. Uh, I think it's there in the book section. I'm like, I have the book section here. So it's there. So again, The Pilgrimage. Oh my God, this is the best. I mean, like Paolo Coelho's books are the best. Like my most favorite has to be The Alchemist and The Pilgrimage, like out of his whole uh, book section. So again, this is one of the best. Uh, it's basically about, so the story revolves around the road to Santiago, like what all he had to face when he was on his way. Um, you know, he met like thousands of people. Everyone was different. Uh, everyone had a different story to tell, but he was a person, like he was like a tourist, but rather than calling himself a tourist, he called him as a pilgrimage. So this is one of the best books that I think you should, like, you should read that. The next book is of one of my favorite personalities. And again, he is Ambedkar, Dr. B. R. Ambedkar. It's an overview of his life. Again, um, you know, from his birth to becoming the known person to the world. Um, he is the biggest contribution to our country, India. I think without him, we would have been nothing till now. And uh, so, yeah, like this is an overview of the book. I think if you want to read the main book, I think you should um, 
there are a few other books as well i'm gonna list them down below but again this is an overview and i think you should definitely read this because um i feel i i really feel he is the father of modern india and if he wouldn't have been here we wouldn't have been here so again the best book so this book has everything about reservations uh sc st obc everything this book has almost everything like why reservations were important or why it wasn't and everything is there in this book the next book is about the search engine it's a place where we just go and type anything and we get thousands and lakhs and millions of search results and that is google so if you haven't read this book the google story i think you should definitely read this i think it's available on kindle uh, you can read it or if you are a book person like me then you should definitely buy this book and it's written by david a weiss so the founders of google's name were sergey brin and larry page who were so passionate about google and we are so thankful to them for having google in our lives like wherever we get stuck we just put that thing on google and we get search results and endless numbers of search results and you know like it's just so easy just because of google then i think just to say thank you to them you should buy this book definitely and read it i'm sure you're going to fall in love with this book the next book is for all the apple lovers if you are one of the ios fan or ios user then i think you should read this man's book this man introduced us to this technological ios and we love it so much we love apple products so much like iphone ipad i watch like everything i we just love it so again this book is about steve jobs it is his story inside in this book and it's a biography by karen blue mental mental blue mental and again this person has wrote about steve jobs like how he faced so much problems and you know like failures in his life and still he wanted to create the apple series like he wanted to launch apple and the story is is amazing and the story is like really, really amazing the man who thought different and he really did think different so again this is the one of the best books and there are a few pictures in this book about and it's a steve jobs picture here i'm mean, like every um uh, like you know part you read of the book you'll feel connected and yeah like it's the best so it was like steve uh, wozniak and steve jobs who were working on the apple first like the first ever apple and that was a computer which was in 1976 so this book has everything like which was the first apple computer or the first iphone or everything everything's there in that book uh, and the last book is the alchemist which i was talking about earlier and this is again by paulo coelho one of the best books and again this is about a guy who wanted to follow his dream but he couldn't because he was facing some financial issues and so one fine day he just comes out with his flock of sheep and he just let them eat the grass and he just was sitting and chilling and then he met a gypsy like it's a whole story and i think you should definite what is the problem with this train meanwhile an eternity later why is this train making so much noise itna bada horn so much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one so finally the train voice has stopped uh, so this is the alchemist book and again it's really amazing i think you should definitely check this out it's uh, it's this story is revolved around a guy and i think if you read this it's all about following your dreams but not falling for the wrong thing so definitely you should give this book a so the next book is 
this I give you my word and this is like a dictionary and again um, this is by C. Welton Gaddy like he was actually the president of the Interfaith uh, Alliance forward by Walter Cronkite so again this is a very amazing book um, this has all the subjectives and adjectives of a particular word so for example um, if you say faith then what can be a proverb for faith or what sentence can faith be so that's all it has so for example I'll give you um, maybe memory and for memory it's like you cannot reap what you don't sow so these are all the meanings that the book has and it's super amazing the next book is this one uh, this is by Anupam Kher it's his own autobiography and the book's name is the best thing about you is you so the best thing about you is you so again I've read this book it's super amazing and again uh, and there are like uh, different uh, sets of uh, contents that he has like we are all unhappy know thyself be thyself the anger syndrome um, this content is a disease analyze yourself so there are like so many chapters in this books and it's all like relating to the life so again you should read this like definitely the next book has to be my absolute favorite and this is the rich dad poor dad you all know this book has uh, a story of two dads who is super ultimately rich and the other one is uh, poor like not even poor but he's like middle class and the rich dad can afford everything and the poor dad can afford only little things in life and it's all about liabilities and everything like what a person needs to do and uh, what should be his profits and everything so again this book is about that so it's basically that uh, so it's basically that what dads a rich dad would teach his kid whereas the poor dad won't so it's all about that and I think you should definitely read this book and it's by Robert Kioski and it's amazing I have read this book and I absolutely love it the next book is this Nelson Mandela's book again I've read this book it's the first volume I mean like there are more volumes as well but this is the first one and uh, long walk to the freedom so it is basically when Nelson Mandela was born it was in 1918 till 1962 and there are other volumes to the book as well so there are six parts in this book the first one is a country childhood like the day he was born and the part six is when he started protesting the black uh, pimpernel so here like the book ends at the part six so again this is also a very giant huge book and I've read it and it's amazing there are few pictures as well of Nelson Mandela when he was young so there are few pictures and this one's when he was returning from abroad like he was underground so that is what the book says so yeah again like a must have book and then there are these two books um, this one it's known as uh, Pahava Vithala and the next one is Maharashtra Desha and the best thing about this book is that this book has been drafted by none other than the chief minister of Maharashtra Uddhav Thakre and sorry Uddhav Thakre sir and um, again these pictures in the books have been taken by him like he is also a good photographer if you guys don't know as you can see here on the book's front page it's his photo and he actually took all these pictures from the helicopter and it's completely about Maharashtra state so in this book he has uh, shown different parts of Maharashtra and so there are these pictures along with the names so I think you should definitely buy this book and it's amazing it's really amazing and then there this one uh, Pahava Vittal by Uddhav Thakre it's all about when people so when people uh, you know go walking which is also known as Pandarpur Chivari or Pandari Chivari so these are those pictures when people all together you know they come for the, all these rituals and everything 
So wait, I'll show you. So when people go walking like this, that is the time when he clicked the pictures again. This all these pictures are clicked by um, Uddhav Thakre sir himself, and also he took this uh, from the helicopter. So all these uh, pictures and this are like helicopter shots. And again, this is really good book. Um, you know what? My dad he brings all these books for me. and i never had to order them online so i really don't know where you will find these books online because my dad is like whenever he goes to crosswords or any book show book stores gets me the books so thank you dad so yeah guys that is it for today's video i hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video so if you like this video then don't forget to like share comment and subscribe to my channel and also turn on the bell post notification so that you guys get updated every time i post a new video and also don't forget to add me on all my social medias the links are always in the description don't forget to add me there as well and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys